One of the greatest challenges of our time is to balance our needs with the resources we have available to us. Australian ecologist Bill Mollison was thinking about this in the 70s when he developed the idea of permaculture. The word permaculture is an amalgamation of three words, permanent, agriculture and culture. And the concept is to help people understand how all parts of nature work together so we can sustain ourselves and help the environment at the same time. It's about working with nature, not against it. Permaculture can be applied at a global level and right down to your own backyard. And there's much more to it than just how we grow our food. It's based on 12 principles. At the forefront of these is to observe nature and design solutions that work at a local level. This includes using solar orientation principles to control your home's temperature without the use of air conditioning, planting your veggie patch where it can benefit from lots of morning sun, and just as plants create their own compost and mulch by dropping their leaves and bark, we can help the soil in our own backyard by doing the same. The next principle is to store and catch energy and resources when they're abundant. Install a solar hot water system, a grey water recycling system and a rainwater tank. Use photovoltaics to generate your own power. Walk, ride your bike or catch public transport instead of driving your car wherever possible. The next principle is to produce no waste. Nothing in nature is ever wasted. So compost your kitchen scraps. It'll turn into this fantastic stuff. Next is to integrate rather than segregate. Gardeners have been doing this for centuries. Planting marigolds near your vegetable patch will help protect your crops from insect attacks. And certain plants grow better together, like potatoes with sweet corn, peas and beans. Diversity reduces vulnerability. Permaculture design includes a system of zones. There's no real defined borders. It's more about how often you go to those areas and how often the plants in those areas need you. They don't have to be thought of as concentric circles. They can also include paths and areas most frequently used. Zone zero is the house. This is the centre and where all the permaculture principles can start to take place. Now closest to the house is zone one and this is where you keep all those plants that need lots of attention like your herbs and salad vegetables that need daily watering and that you pick often. Zone two also needs attention but less than zone one. This area is irrigated and mulched and contains those vegetables that take longer to mature and herbs you don't use every day. Depending on the size of your block, you might not have room for much else. But if you do, zone three is for larger trees and shrubs that don't need much attention, like fruit and nut trees. Zone four is for timber production and zone five is unmanaged bush. So if you've got any space left over, plant some natives. 